Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Today I'm going to be talking about the Flavor Delight Aprium, its issues that I've noticed, growth habits, interesting things about it, and that's going to be coming up right now. Now the issues I've noticed about this tree is that it doesn't grow as fast as I thought it would in terms of large branches. It grows a lot of spindly branches that tend to flower a lot. That's good for food production, but I planted this tree to give me shade in the afternoon to my family room window. And it just creates spindly wood instead of nice thick branches like this everywhere. But regardless, that's not that bad of an issue. Other than that, I've never had an issue with this tree. Bugs don't seem to climb it. Ants don't seem to climb it. I've never had caterpillar issues. I've never had leaf-footed beetles. It's a really amazing tree, honestly. It's a great tree. The things I like about this tree is the flavor. Many say, and I agree, that this should be the true apricot. The flavor delight aprium surpasses any flavor of any other apricot I've ever tasted before. It's delicious. It's just the right mixture of acid and sweetness and extremely crunchy and when it gets fully ripe it's just like jello the other thing i really like about this fruit is the coloration like it's those red dots when it gets ripe like over here just a red blush but then it just gets freckles So back to the tree, like many fruit trees, it loves all day full sun, but this tree gets all morning shade. I assume that that's probably why it's so spindly, but still it gets at least six plus hours of sunlight in the early afternoon all the way to evening. This tree gets about a foot deep of wood chip mulching, and I also buried seaweed under this tree as well, and every other tree in this row. The tree also gets foliar fed about every two weeks with fish emulsion and kelp extract and a little bit of hand soap just to make it stickier to the leaf instead of the fertilizer just running off. The taste of this aprium, like I said, is a perfect balance between sweet and acid. But if I had to say what the difference is between this and an apricot is its crunch. It can be almost completely ripe and still retain its crunchiness when you bite it. Like let's say a royal apricot or a patterson, which really isn't that great of an apricot. You'd have to wait for its full flavor. And the only way to have that full flavor is when it's completely ripe and mushy. You can have the full flavor with the aprium, at least for the flavor delight aprium, even when it's still crunchy. So these will be ready in about two days, maybe three. We've been having very odd weather. It rained for four or five hours yesterday here in Central California. And it's going to get a thunderstorm tomorrow and the next day. But if it wasn't for that, it would probably be already ready right now. But when you pick it, it's not mushy. It's crunchy, but yet it has that same sugar content of other apricots when they're fully ripe and mushy. So definitely a tree that you want to consider growing, a flavored delight aprium. Delicious, productive, amazing tree to include in your collection. Happy gardening, everyone. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everyone.